Thursday. That means Mad Dog and Meryl are here, and we're having our own little luau here. We're, today. So we're, 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 we're Northeastern Wisconsin's foodies. So some may say oh, that. Oh man! <laughs> so what are we making today? I see some pineapple. You know, hors d'oeuvres dur are great to do on the grill. In fact, Meryl and I do a lot of catering. We do a lot of hors d'oeuvre catering, a lot of hors d'oeuvre parties. Sure. So you can do just about anything on the grill. My so favorite kind of party. Exactly right. And we're going to throw a little luau today. We're going to do a little ham and pineapple, the easiest one to do. And it's just a little toothpick, a skewer of ham and a little bit of pineapple. And you toss that son of a gun right on the grates <laughs> of the grill. But but Meryl and I are going to do a couple glazes right now oh, yes. for ham. And Make ham. it a little more fun. Should we, Meryl, why don't yeah. you do your orange one? Well, you know, oranges, you know, orange juice, everybody's got orange juice at home. You know, you want to clean out your refrigerator, you know, sure. when you're doing it on glazes. Very simple. Usually, in any type of glaze, I'll definitely use brown sugar. Ooh. I got a half a cup of brown sugar. I'll use about a half a cup of orange juice in here, too. Now, I'll definitely mix this all up. But I'm going to sweeten this also with just a little bit of honey. Yes, dear? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I hate that when he called it on television. <laughs> oh, right on television, too. Oh, no, my wife. I say a good couple of tablespoons of honey, a little bit of soy sauce. Need a little bit more sodium in there since you got it in the ham, anyway. Sure. That's right. Why not? A tablespoon of that. Mix it all up. Now you can make this real thicker, thicker if you like. I like to do it really nice and thin. And then just brush that on there and you really taste the sweetness. And I like doing like a sweet and sour. So I've got a little bit of grape jelly in the bottom Oh, that's there. what that is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> a little grape jelly, a little spicy, a little habanero barbecue sauce of ours. So a little squeezing of habanero mm. barbecue sauce mm. on the top of that. A little bit of nice ground ginger. And a can of pineapple juice, and we're gonna make a nice little glaze that way. That'll go real good with the pineapple. Oh, it smells delicious, it does doesn't it? It does smell good. And we're gonna do a little shake, shake, shake. Would you do that for me? Would you? Oh, it's a great exercise program. Okay. I'm, if I'm assuming a can. I don't know. Oh, oh see, look at that. Look. I can do that. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty guys a yeah. What are y'all worried about, for guys' sakes? So that's the way. Now we can sit here and we just pour this over the top. I really didn't put any at the top of these hors d'oeuvres yet. And all we're simply trying to do with ham is oh, just warm those up a little good. bit. Doesn't it, though? Got to so put a little good. glaze over the top of that. And you two foodies are actually going to be judges tomorrow yes. night at Taste of the Town. Should be a great yeah, time. And then later right. in the weekend, where right. am I going to be? Oh, Saturday we're going to be at Nina okay. at Helping Hands at the Nina High School. And then we're going to be at St. John's over in Shorewood on Plenty Sunday. Plenty of Sunday. opportunities to catch these guys. Oh, yes. Oh, craft shows. So, catch as if you can. And you can always check them out on their show, Mad Dog and Merrill's show. It's called Midwest Grill on Sundays on WACY, My New 32 at 11 a.m.